Happy Easter from the British Basketball League. We have an excellent couple of games for you this Easter Sunday. I'm not even yoking. Later, the Cheshire Phoenix host the Bristol Fires. That's at six o'clock. But before that, in a vital matchup for playoff seeding, the Newcastle Eagles travel to the Leicester Riders. Both teams have already played this weekend and it's 2-1 to the Riders so far this season. So let's spend the day with some bunny special. It's Tahir Hija and Azania Stewart. Happy Easter Sunday live for the Mattioli Arena, the British Basketball League Championship action. The Leicester Riders taking on the Newcastle Eagles. And my name is Ty Hajat. Joining me, someone who I don't think I've ever seen leave the floor. She's not got many bunnies, but she's definitely got bounce in the commentary booth. And Zania Stewart is with me. Thank you. Happy Easter to you too, <laughs> to hear. I'll remember that one. Uh, well, look, we're looking forward to a classic rivalry in the British Basketball League Championship. The Leicester Riders taking on the Newcastle Eagles. Fireworks guaranteed. And the starting fives are ready for you and on display. Duke Shelton, Kimball McKenzie, Myron Thomas, TJ Lal and Teddy Buckets. Alan No, Jaron Holmes still for the Leicester Riders. And for the Sirius group, Newcastle Eagles, they line up after their loss against the Caledonia Gladiators. Exactly the same. Darius Defoe, Ricky McGill, Jordan Johnson, Larry Austin Jr. and Taj Green. Well, let's take a look a little close at these rosters. Starting with TJ Lally. He's been in great form, Azania. Great form, and I've picked him for the last three games. He's been unstoppable. There it is, points per game, 22. And then point uh, minutes, excuse me, is 41. He played 50 minutes in that over double overtime against Plymouth, where he dropped 36 points and 10 rebounds. Riders on a two-game winning streak, but for the Newcastle Eagles, they need to get things going. Ricky McGill is that guy who can get things done. Yeah, definitely, and I'm going to call him Mr. Consistency. I just think he's been so solid for this Newcastle game uh, team Excuse me, against the Sharks. 18 points and 7 assists, so doing a little bit of everything. He's going to have to play well if they're going to try and get this win tonight. Well, last time at home, Rob Padanostro was thrown out of the game, but his team have now got two wins on the bounce, and things are looking positive for the Riders. Can they go 3-1 against the Newcastle Eagles, or will Stutel's men make it 2-2? Two and two? The battle in fourth and fifth position in the league. It will commence after the break.
Welcome back, British Basketball League. That's Kimball McKenzie. Oh, yes, it is. Oh, oh, oh no, it isn't. Uh, I thought Kimball McKenzie had a brand new hairdo. Well, here are your officials today. We've got Twin Trouble, Simon Unsworth and Paul Unsworth, and Steve Ellis as well. Well, the starting fives are ready. The crowd is ready. And myself, Tahi Hadja, alongside Azania Stewart, ready to take you through two games today here on Easter Sunday. Up first, the Leicester Riders taking on the Newcastle Eagles. As Duke Chester Shelton Preston. and Taj Green are at half court, ready to tip this one off. Azania, looking forward to this game because these two teams, whenever they play each other, it's a lot more than just a basketball game. You're right, we've seen a couple of chippy games and uh, Leicester does lead 2-1 and also beat Newcastle in the trophy. Well, there's an early inside look as Rob Paternostro's teams like to get a, a big man inside the paint for the first two of the game. Shelton getting it done. Yeah, good job. Shelton's worked his way into the starting lineup. And it's just been, uh, you know, working hard and getting Rob's trust. Larry Austin Jr. unable to get his first bucket of the game. As mentioned earlier on in the broadcast, the Newcastle Eagles have only won one out of there. Last five as Shelton stripped away underneath the rim. TJ Lal offensive board. Shelton again, and the foul is called. But in this series, Azania, the first game, real uh, feisty endeavor. And this is a time when the Riders had Caleb Asprey, Xavier Pinson, Braylon Bridges. That little ruckus broke out. Yeah. Uh, that was a really exciting game to call, and, and things have unfolded well since then. Yeah, and obviously their their team has changed um, yep. over the over the season, and they've added. Teddy Allen and who's been an incredible offensive threat and then um, I just think they've kind of really gone through the ebbs and flows the ups and downs of a, a typical basketball season you know there's injuries there's people that leave uh, people step up and and I think Rob's done a really good job managing um, his his Leicester Riders well other than the two last games that these two have played one in the trophy and one in the championship they have been relatively close in the last game in the trophy, Newcastle went down 85 to 101 with injuries against the Riders, and prior to that, 111 to 88. So, in the last two games, Riders look like they were on top. Will it be the same again today as Teddy Allen pulls up, trying to fix the net? Not this time. Here is Austin Jr. Johnson. Working his way to the bucket, getting his bank account open. No, nope. front of the iron will deny him. He'll get the offensive glass, though. Defoe, Green, don't jump. And there's the finish return. Fantastic. He knew the defense was coming. Good patience and poise by Green. And gets Newcastle on the scoreboard. Myron Thomas, he'll drive and one. Good to go. Through the contact. That will count. And Myron Thomas was up in the air if he was going to be in the starting lineup. But he looks just fine to me. That's a lovely left-hand drive. A little hesitation. Takes the bump from Green. And nothing but net. It's that moment also in, in, in play Z when you hear that whistle go. Sometimes the defense stops their action because they know they've committed a foul. But offensively, you've got to stay switched on so you can finish the play. Yeah, and you saw his eyes locked onto the rim and the basket and really concentrated and finished that one. McGill lofting it up top. Green rises high and a foul call down the other, set, other side of the floor. And Myron Thomas will get Green back. I kind of like this matchup between these two. The action is both the teams looking for each other. It was Green down the other end and with the foul. And then here Thomas comes back, slaps him. So we'll watch those two go at it all, all afternoon. That's what we like to see. Well, as mentioned, this is game. One of two today here in the British Basketball League. Later on, another bumper clash as the Bristol Flyers travel to the Cheshire Oaks Arena to take on the mighty Cheshire Phoenix. Really looking forward to that game as well. Last time we were in the booth, yeah. we had that wonderful, spectacular display between Manchester and Surrey as Yes, we did, so we're ready for good basketball. And Bristol's on a back-to-back. -back. They played yesterday too, so they're going to be a tired bunch, but they need to get it, uh, you know, get going. Well, here is McKenzie. That's Defoe. Great hands on that one. Good Jordan defense. Johnson diving on the ball. Getting a better rate. Taj Green. 
cleared for takeoff, throwing it down on the rims. And you will notice that that basket has been fixed. It's no longer wonky. Taj, Taj Green doing his best to put it back to the way it was. And a turnover from the defense and a quick outlet to Green. Slams it in. And then they cause the turnover. So two possessions here from Newcastle. Just turning up the heat. 7.54 to go in the first. Here's Johnson lining up the triple. That's a little bit off to the right. Maybe he's had one too many chocolate eggs. An Easter egg or two. I didn't get it. Oh, I got one this year. Actually. You did? Yeah. What, what, what? Give, one, give us the brand. It was a bueno. It was uh -huh. a little mini one with uh -huh. bueno inside. Wow. Do you feel like you've had your fix or you need no, something? No, no, no. I need some more. <laughs> Well, maybe that can be arranged at half, uh, halfway through our, yes. our games today. Here's Thomas. One on one with McGill. He puts his head down and great work there from McGill to reach round and poke it out of bounds. Fantastic work from him having to really reach around. I don't know if he's hurt himself. But also Thompson, I just think he's really found his groove. He's a rookie, but he doesn't play like it here. Look at this defense. Gosh, that's very good. Well, Mackenzie misses the baseline jumper. Larry Austin Jr. ready to push the ball forward. Johnson. I do like this energy Newcastle's playing with, playing fast. The pace, they're definitely pushing it. This is how they started against Caledonia. That's also how they started against Caledonia with a lot of missed opportunities. Taken more in the first part of this game against the Riders as Lau spinning to the bucket. Can't get the finish. Johnson going down the other way. Slows things down. That is an end line ball for Newcastle. There's Defoe. Fine line. All right, fine line without a doubt. Played an incredible amount of minutes this season and yeah. he's not shown any signs yeah, of his veteran experience, yeah, really. Yeah, held up for him very well. He had a few niggling injuries at the start of the season, but he's been solid. It's exactly right. what you want from your vet. Could learn a thing or two about his recovery process as Defoe misses that one. Teddy Allen going all the way to the right hand for two. Producer was in my saying, no score for Teddy yet, and there you go. <laughs> there usually, it is. usually as a commentator, we say something's going to happen, and it doesn't. Yep. For producers, they seem to make things happen. Well, we love that too, but Teddy Allen, that's, I'll be worried if I'm Newcastle as soon as he sees the ball go in the net it's a wrap he had 27 points uh, in that game earlier against Sharks this week it happened in 12 minutes two to him so quick get hot like a hot cross but I'll stop now here we go the rotation Jordan Johnson for three and that's cash money for Jordan Johnson especially when he has his feet set wide open Ties the game. McKenzie. Trying to find room now on the right-hand side for Lal. In the paint, right hand, finish for two. That's pretty, really pretty. And that's why I think Lal has done a wonderful job. OK, yes, he shoots the three very well, but if they chase him off the three-point line, he's long, he's lean, he can get to the rim. Green. It's the handoff with Austin Jr. A little bit of room there, yeah, finds Defoe moment. on the elbow. Byron Thomas going all the way. Can't finish this time, but does get to the free throw line. Foul will be called, and Darius Defoe. Two shots to come. is the drive I was talking about, left-hand drive, right-hand finish. Really well done by Lowell. And been playing fantastic, especially uh, Teddy Allen had a two-game suspension, so he found himself having to play 50 minutes in a double overtime versus Plymouth and uh, just having to do a bit more and his team relying on him and he stepped up. And that's why I picked him for uh, somebody to watch today. We know what Teddy Allen's going to do, don't oh, yeah. we? Okay. So we need to spread the love. Spread, spread the love. <laughs> yes. Uh, Myron Thomas, you know, in his rookie year as a professional, really, you know, I had some time to speak to him at the All-Star game. His mindset really is focused on trying to be the best he can, aiming high, looking to reach 
this ceiling as soon as possible. My only worry really for Leicester at this moment in time is, you know, in the past five games, four of those games they conceded 100 points or more. Yeah. And then, of course, against Sheffield, they still conceded 85 points. And I just think, you know, that's not what we're used to seeing from a Leicester Riders team. In fact, we can discuss that a little bit more. We're going to head to a quick break, and we'll be back after that discussing the Riders' defensive capabilities. Ah, and we have a familiar face in the stands today. Ant Rowe, there enjoying himself with a lovely shirt. And we were talking... Oh, we've also got Dan Rowledge in the house. Of course we do. He's got a beer. beer in his hand. Oh, it's Sunday he's not allowed for him. To, uh, he's not allowed to do that in the booth, so he might as well make the most of it. He's not working. He's off today. Two legends. Please drink responsibly is the most important conversation there. Well, Ricky McGill is on the free throw line. One for two at this moment in time. We were speaking about the Riders' defense. Yes. Anyway, Z and how many points they've conceded in, in yeah. these games previous. Well, even the half time, no, at the end of the game um, versus the Sharks, and they spoke, Drew Lasker asked Rob and asked about the defense, and he went straight to the offense. He, you know, went away from the defense conversation, so clearly it's not on the top. Teddy misses that at the top of their list of things to do. Oh, I, think, I feel like... But they can score, obviously. Yeah, but if they but can get some good stops, they'll be, in, you know, unstoppable. Uh, <laughs> unbeatable, as is the line from the British Basketball League. As Larry Austin Jr. is inside the paint here. Ricky McGill firing up a triple. No good, Larry Austin Jr. Offensive board. And now... Out of bounds, riders will get it back. But um, Zania, look, look, I think for the riders over the years, that's been their identity. And I know that's how Rob Patanostro likes to build his teams based around strong defensive principles so they can get out and running. And it's produced so many trophies over the years. And I, you're right, I feel like he's realized with this group, as per se, it's more about putting the ball in the basket. We're going to try and get stops as possible, but more often than not, especially recently, we're going to have to try and outscore teams. Outscore teams, yeah. And uh, it's, for me, it's their transition defense has let them down. They need to work on that. When you've got this guy. Teddy Allen loves to pour points in. And he goes to the right hand reverse for two. Austin Jr. A little bit of a miscommunication there with Del Pesh, who had a wonderful game against Caledonia in his last outing. As Austin Jr. looks baseline to Spencer. Spencer fade away. No good for him. Rebounded by Samuel Ladowu. Allen one on one with McGill. They've given him room to work here. Bowman fades into the corner and Ladowu receives it inside the paint. Two shots to come. Ladowu for me, Sam, has been a, an X Factor also. Coming off the bench, here he is. 
slice it down the middle. But yeah, he's just been a, a real solid piece coming off the bench for Leicester Riders. Can shoot the threes, playing with confidence, can get to the rim, and uh, I think could give Newcastle a bit of a handful today. Yeah, I think a lot of fans have asked me and other people as well who are interested in in the Riders and how they, they fare throughout the season, why he doesn't start and at the moment, especially with Duke Shelton starting. I think Rob likes to always have something special coming off the bench. Mm. And Samuel Ledeau definitely brings that. He's another uh, punch yep. coming off and making a difference in the game. I feel like people make such a big deal about who starts a game, you know. And for me, I loved to start or to sit on the bench. If you sit on the bench, you can watch the game. It kind of gives you a few moments to see, you know, how the referees are calling the game, what, what, where you can come in and do better. And, you know, there's a six-man award in the NBA for a reason. And I think that's such a big deal. And, and he's great at that. Josh Ward Hibbert finishing for two. I thought you were going to go to the famous phrase, it's not about who starts the game, it's, it's about finishes. who finishes it. Correct, I didn't have time, I was going to be commenting. <laughs> but Blake Bowman underneath the rim, he's fouled now, two shots to come and, for him. And I think that's such a great point to hear, is who's in the game at, at crucial moments, who's finishing, that's really who the coach trusts uh, wholeheartedly to finish and, and wrap up a, a game and get the win, and that's what you should really be worrying about. Bowman. He's made his first free throw. Good to go. Blake Bowman started a couple of the previous games for the Leicester Riders and starting to see the court a lot more now. He knocks down the second. One of those players who are observing the month of Ramadan as well, so he'll be potentially fasting. And there's Jordan Johnson behind the back. Skip to the corner, Josh Ward Hibbert goes up for the triple, of course, against his former club, Josh Ward Hibbert, spent some great years with the Riders. As Teddy Allen fires it up from way downtown, and that's nothing but net, cash money, Teddy Buckets. Shot that one in rhythm, going to cause Newcastle to call a timeout as they just break open. Look, when he comes down into rhythm and shoots it, it's looking good. Nothing but net here, that's big. Big time play from big time Teddy. As he puts Leicester into the lead, 21 to 12 with 2.41 remaining in the first. They've kept Newcastle Eagles so far to 12 points only in this quarter, the Riders. We we're just speaking about the defense. It's working positively for them at this moment in time. Rob Padanostro will chance to talk it over with his team after the timeout called by head coach Mark Stewart to all Leicester Riders' last four results as we discussed starting to get back to winning ways with that win against Sheffield and the double overtime victory against the Plymouth City Patriots but prior to that two tough losses against Caledonia and against Bristol and for the Newcastle Eagles yeah last four oh, four Losses bar one, which was against the Surrey Scorchers at home. And that Caledonia game, they really showed great fighting spirit. You know, in fact, eventually took the lead in the third quarter, but just couldn't hold on. Yeah. They've been struggling, really, uh, Newcastle. They've been kind of up and down, and they're not really playing their best basketball when you... You know, this big crucial moment in coming up to the playoffs. But, you know, still, it's all right. You've, you've got just over a month to play a regular season. With this win, they could potentially leapfrog, or should we say bunny hop, over... Do you like that one? Thank you very much. Uh, over Leicester. So it's all to play for. It's giving a playoff feel this, evening, this afternoon. Well, yeah. I mean, if they, if they do finish respectively fourth and fifth, then they will be. The first round playoff matchup between the Riders and the Eagles, that'll be one for all to enjoy as Bowman goes inside and the blocking foul will be called. Could have been a charge. Yeah. Two shots to come. Taj Green calls for that one. Let's have a little look here. Ido hands it off and it's Taj Green coming across there, just reaching in before Blake Bowman hits. Malcolm Del Pesh. Oh, 
will get first again. We, uh, the, the Sharks game the other day, um, I really liked their defense, even though Teddy Buckets goes for 27 in the first, but only has two points in the second. And I thought that was a great adjustment, maybe not soon enough in the first half, but to hold him with two points in the second, they doubled him, they hard showed, they threw lots of different looks on the defensive end, um, you know, to slow him down offensively. Well, here's Del Pesh going to the right hand. And nice. As mentioned, he's in great form at the moment. Mm, good patience down there. Nice little jump hook. It's a bit of me, actually. I like that move. Yeah, without the jump, right? The <laughs> Gosh. Just the hook. I didn't have to. I was six foot four. Uh, exactly. It is, it is lol. Back to basket against Whitfield. And gets the better of him there, Devin Whitfield, and able to stop Lowell. Good strong move by Lowell. There is Green. Mid-range, that's off the side of the iron. Rebounded by Bowman, knocked away by Josh Wood here, but doesn't give up on the play, but eventually it's turned over. Riders get it back. Strudel, you wish he could get that one back. He's just going to have to take a deep breath and walk that one off because they get the turnover and you know Newcastle struggling to put the ball in the basket not finishing just needs some sort of you know consistent shooting here to get back into this game right, well Newcastle will get it back here Connor Washington's also into the game for the Riders green to inbound don't forget, we're also live on TikTok and on Twitch today. The British Basketball League social media platform. So make sure you drop us a comment. You can drop us a few roses and gifts, etc. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go towards the end of season party for all the broadcast team. There we go. Here is Whitfield. Get to find Del Pesh. Back to basket against the Dowu, Del Pesh going, and Bowman came across to help. Skipped across to Connor Washington, straight inside. Idowu, one on one now with Del Pesh on the side of the floor, showing off the handle. What's he got here? Idowu, right hand hook, really tough angle, didn't get his body all the way around, Z. Yeah, he's looking for the foul. He could, could have pulled Del Pesh out, out a little bit more, but guess who's answered? Jordan Johnson, the man who's answered his second triple of the game. Yeah, needed, needed that because it was just struggling offensively, couldn't get something clean. They need to get stopped, Newcastle. Kenzie. Though with the, the spin, tries to get it hard off the glass. It doesn't quite get it at the right angle. And now Johnson will slow down the possession as Eagles look to capitalize on the last play of the first quarter. Johnson for three. No good. It's rebounded. And that is the end of the first quarter. Riders with a strong lead, 25 to 17. The second quarter coming up right after this break.
Welcome back to the Mattioli Arena. Mark Strutel's team are going to have to fight back from behind once again if they want to defeat this Leicester Riders team. They're in the lead 25 to 17. And here we're talking about what's going on with Newcastle Eagles. You know, what? why can't they kind of get it together? But we were talking about that they're finally healthy. As it is it that they're trying to get on the same page, the chemistry? Why can't they get wins? where they, they're playing teams that they should be beating? Or is it just the finishing around the rim? Well, Josh Ward Hibbert getting inside to Del Pesh. It's not looked particularly pretty for them on the field in this game. They're seven for 26, about 25% overall from the two point percentage in which they lead in the league in that statistic. As Myron Thomas just deflects that one out of bounds, they'll get it back. Living up to their standards. Only had one turnover so far in this game, the Newcastle Eagles. As McGill picks up possession. Johnson. Back screen now from Taj Green to try and get Ricky McGill open in the corner, but Jordan Johnson. He's going to find room to attack the bucket, hand it off to Del Pesh, who throws it in for two. Beautiful play by Johnson. All started from him, that drive, and then sucks all the defense, hands it off. Easy two for Newcastle. They need Thomas. more of that. Yeah, they do indeed. Here is Lal. Oh, Ricky Flop. McGill, flop warning given there by the official. As Lal finishes for two. It's McGill now. Trying to create the next opportunity. Del Pesh, long two-point shot and stays with the Newcastle Eagles. They're getting the rub of the green here early on in the second, Azania. Yeah, and the thing is, Leicester's packing in the paint. They know that Newcastle love to drive, but they're packing in the paint and then they're forcing and getting actually the right person, Del Pesh, shooting a three. I would be happy with that. Um, so they're getting the right defensive stops, but there was the hustle from Newcastle. McGill. Connor Washington takes it to his chest, hits the deck, nothing called, foul now, an unsportsmanlike foul called on Jordan Johnson. And not making a play for the ball, deems the official. And in fact, in the game against Caledonia Gladiators, he was on the receiving end of something like this against Quade Green. And in fact, it was a very similar foul, it's where the, the yeah. cuddling foul that's it's not we're allowed. To, yeah, well, we're going to give Hugs. it a cuddling foul. <laughs> the cuddling foul. It's uh, definitely when it's not a play at the basketball. If it's a dangerous play or, you know, a hit to the head or top arms, if it's a play that's not going for the basketball, the referees are going to be all over that. Well, Kim McKenzie goes two for two and a sideline possession coming up for the Leicester Riders as well. Can they push this lead back out to double digits? to find out so Mackenzie's ready and waiting on the sideline here is Washington hands it off now left 45 Myron Thomas all the way to the bucket big time Jeff a great offensive possession there was so much movement that was difficult to guard and then Thomas comes down. Well done, Leicester. That was beautiful basketball. Johnson working towards the bucket, making up for the unsportsmanlike. Here's Connor Washington. He'll pull up for three. Connor Washington. That was his range, without a doubt. McKenzie waits for the ball screen from Shelton. Shelton slips away from the screen. The ball's moved across to Lal. Myron Thomas rises up. Shelton trying to find room in the paint, but it's too late. Taj Green, one-on-one -on -one with Lal. He throws it so hard off the backboard. Kimmel McKenzie comes up with the rebound. Lal, one-on-one -on -one with Austin Jr. Kicks it out to Washington. Almost steps out of bounds. Thomas, the pump fake. He's going all the way again. And oh, my goodness. Stop in the name of the law. Malcolm Del Pesh denies Myron Thomas, Larry Austin Jr. on the other end. Whoa, take a breath to hear because that was an incredible block by Del Pesh. Let's see it again. Thomas goes up to slam it. He says, not today. 
It's like he lost balance Gosh. on that last step and he cocked it back too far. Del Pesce was all up in his grill. You shall not pass the Gandalf of Newcastle <laughs> Eagles. <laughs> That's a big, big play. Love that for them. And they need to build off of that momentum and energy. Look at this. He drives your right. Kind of just, no, that was the slam before it. Well, that's where he got his confidence from. Yeah. He was going to take it to the rack the next time because he felt these guys ain't going to try and jump with me. But it was Taj Green that time, not Del Pesh. Time out is, is cool. Sesham Russell actually went to the bench. He's sitting down there, which means he's likely to get into the game. Sesham Russell uh, slowly coming back off of injury, but he's a great impact player, is he? Yeah, lovely, and I love his energy, and he just comes in and d does his job very well. Gets to the basket, obviously a point guard kind of on the wing, um, but another one-two punch from his bench, and that's why I think Rob is pushing closer to the playoffs. He has a good, solid bench, and having... Um, Russell is, is a, a good piece. Sesham Russell, prolific scorer. Let's see if he can put points on the ball. He can be quite a tenacious defender as well on the ball. We're looking forward to see if he can make that impact in this game as the Leicester Riders are currently in the lead 31 to 25 after that big block and finish there from Larry Austin Jr. Don't forget game one of two this is. Later on, six o'clock, we'll be with you once again as the Cheshire Phoenix take on the Bristol Flyers. Another blockbuster high, highlight for us this weekend. And then on Monday, Easter Monday, whilst you're sitting down with your slippers on and a cup of tea, you can enjoy the Battle of the Roses. The Manchester Giants taking on the Sheffield Sharks. Wow, Easter basket is full, isn't it? Two games today and then tomorrow. A great weekend of British Basketball League. Leicester Riders fans, the season ticket holder section. Enjoying the game, and here is Sesham Russell, guarded tightly by Jordan Johnson. Having to do some work to shake him off and eventually create some separation. Mackenzie hands it off. Duke Shelton rising up. Yeah, really nice. Really good. Leicester know exactly where they want to go. Coming out of that timeout, well executed. That's definitely what Coach Rob drew up. And good job by the Riders. McGill to find the bullet pass inside and that's a pocket picked by Larry Austin Jr. Shelton with the block and a foul is called and one. Well, the referee hasn't signaled it. Yeah, he has now. The foul will be called on Shelton who lost his balance and swiped down on Del Pesh. But great job from Austin Jr. Look, this is where he gets his money. He's always looking for the ball, steals it and then Del Pesh with the rebound gets it up. A couple of possessions by Del Pesh on the defensive end with that huge. I'm, I'm calling that top top ten. That's number one for me for sure. That block. Oh yeah. By well, Del Pesh. It's up there. It's up there. Out there. I, I've not seen all of the games yet. I can't uh, be the official judge of that yet. Sorry, sorry. Ah, okay. uh, here's the Eagles faithful. Defense. They've left the nest to come Defense. to Leicester. Defense. They are Defense. scouring the skies for prey. Here is Russell. Well. Oh. Creating space as Myron Thomas gets out of the way. TJ Lal trying to find mismatch potential. My back in now, Larry Austin Jr. But Kimball McKenzie on the offensive glass. Out two. working. Defoe. Del Pesh. Ball bubbles around the rim. He's tied with Jordan Johnson for the, as a leading scorer so far in this game for the Eagles. Sesham Russell in the corner. Rolls around the rim. Jordan with the boards. Gill here needs to get himself going. Goes off onto the side. Del Pesh is amongst it again. Still got the ball here, Eagles. Diving for it. Jordan Johnson holding on. It's got to be a jump ball. Yeah, that's a lot of bodies flying around. That's what it means to these guys. Need the extra possession. Mackenzie, though, holding his farm, I think, maybe. Finger. It's a stub on the ball. If you're a recreational, professional, semi-engaged basketball player, you'll know that at some point you're going to stub your finger and it's going to hurt. Oh, the thumb, I think, is the worst. The thumb. Yeah, you don't realise how much you use it. I've done my thumb, I've done my pinky before. Oh, it just hurts. I've also caught my finger in a jersey. That's oh, painful too. I actually yeah. broke my uh, hand doing that. Really? Yeah, yeah. caught in someone's jersey. I was young though, so it healed pretty quickly. 
My jump shot's never been the same. Duke Shelton. <laughs> the <laughs> finish for two. Shelton. Way to stick with it. Nice little spin move. Getting the ball out. Foul call against Sesham Russell here. What I love, I'm going to talk about it again. Leicester Riders have clearly spoken about getting back in defense, transition defense, and uh, plugging the paint. Well, we're going to take a quick break now to join us back for this one. The game's heating up. Back to the action at the Mattioli. Four minutes, 55 on the clock. Newcastle Eagles possession. And Ricky McGill putting two points on the board. And a warning given to the Newcastle Eagles about touching the basketball after it goes through the hoop, which can result in a technical foul, as they can, as they've already warned them. So they do it again, and they'll get that T. But good job from McGill coming out of that timeout. He's got to get himself going. Nice pass there from Sesha and Russell to find Thomas. Thomas really playing well. Eagles. McGill. Right hand. And trickles in for two. Floated in the air. Stopped on the dime. McGill heating up. Allen. What a pass from Russell there, just to catch him in motion. And Teddy Allen doing what he does, just throwing it up there after the contact, and it falls in for two. You're joking me. And this is the thing about Allen, you've got to always be ready for him to shoot the ball because at any time it's going up here. McGill not ready, doesn't even see the ball, and touches his elbow. It is a foul. Very, very... Soft foul, but a foul. Still a foul, doesn't matter. Nonetheless. Soft, hard, doesn't matter. Can't touch the shooter in a shooting motion. Referees are all over that. Well, Riders open up the gap once again. Defoe, the handoff action with Oster Jr. The Defoe seal inside. Fade away. Nice hands there from Shelton. Former teammates, of course. He's guided him. From TJ Lal, he's getting hot. And another timeout call. This time for the Newcastle Eagles. They've got one of their informed players into the game in TJ Lal as he knocks down the triple. And that was That'll a be big, his big six points, excuse me. Yeah, nine points personal, I believe, for TJ Lal. No, I'm saying a big six points hit from um, Allen, then Correct. Thomas, and then here. Lol, that was just raining of offense. Forced Newcastle to have to take another timeout. Mark can't panic, but 10 points just blink of an eye. And the scores were something 10. 
Getting out the orders. Apologise for any um, passionate language you may hear. Coaches trying to ensure he gets his message across in the correct emotion. You can see the body language to me to hear, just a little bit heads down, uh, quite, you know, shoulders over, nobody's really talking to each other, let's go, high-fiving, it's kind of everyone's on their own little boat. Um, Austin, he's got a big plaster on his head, but look, who's come in with his Easter shirt to here. Yeah, a man who's used to boats because he's from Plymouth as well. <laughs> Out row, uh, enjoy the basketball. Can't get away. I wonder if he buys any 50-50 tickets later. We need to see that reaction. Since since the uh, producers here like to see me partake in the 50-50 and lose every time, here is Ricky McGill. Do they do chuck a duck here as well? Harry Austin Jr. seems to have a little head bandage on. It looks like one of those uh, those uh, migraine pads. Oh, yeah, like the heat. <laughs> the heated pad. I think he just got scratched. I think maybe just a little bit too much blood. He can pull it off. There he is. Thank you, cameraman. Airline possession. Here's McGill. The foe, hand. Takes the hand off to Whitfield, gets it into the the palms of Ricky McGill, but it's turned over again by the Newcastle Eagles. Yes, they're doing a really good job. I told you they're just packing the paint, making it really difficult for Newcastle to get any easy look. Skipped across. Russell turning away from the defense. Mid-range shot for Russell. He was just swaying to the right, and his shot followed in suit. Now Larry Austin Jr. going all the way. Thomas, brilliant defense there, and a well-earned rebound and a foul call on Darius Defoe. Hey, there's the nicest seats in the house. It's called the best seat in the house. Oh, there you go. And Riders fans, they, they tweet a photo of themselves ahead of the game um, into their social media account, and they pick two fans Does at it? random. Yeah. Mm, love that. It's very nice. They're right in the action there, aren't they? You also used to get a pizza at half time. I don't know if that still exists. They do give away free pizza at the riders as well. Okay. There it is. The best seat in the house. Look at that. They're having a great time Sunday. Easter Sunday watching their home team. The riders now want to continue to apply the pressure to the Eagles. Lol trying to find an escape route. Teddy Allen, just a quick look at the shot clock because they need to get something off here. He beats the shot clock buzzer, but it doesn't hit the rim. And Teddy Allen looking for the contact. He's got to be careful, though. He had a look at the clock. He knew exactly what was on there. Shot goes up, and Ricky McGill's there, not really invading his shooting space. Now McGill has possession on the offensive end. He'll line up a triple for himself. Off to the left, rebounded by Shelton. Slowly tallying up the rebounds. TJ Lyle tipping that one over the backcourt, and it's not a backcourt violation. Teddy Allen, oh, an man. offensive foul. Allen's walking to the bench like he knows he's going to get subbed. He's just going to have to take a moment. That's a mood for you. Oh, dear. Yeah, well, playing two games in a weekend can be quite tiring. There's Mr. Dan Routledge. He's just looking at him with the... Uh, Maybe we should give Dan a call to get the inside yeah, information. Yeah, should, should I give him a text? Just say, listen, what's Teddy doing down there? Here's Defoe. 
Offensive foul pull on Defoe now for a hook. He's untucked his shirt here and will head to the bench and Del Petro will check in. What's hilarious is that they're just calling their own subs. It's kind of a mental breakdown for me, in my opinion, just walking to the bench, assuming that you'll get subbed out. What if the coach wanted you to play through it? Yeah. Third personal foul, I believe, on Del Pesh. Rebound now for Thomas. Oh, did I say? Did I say Del Pesh? Third personal foul on Defoe. Apologies. So for three in this game. One board, one assist, one turnover. Minus 10 on the plus minus. Teddy Allen is also in foul trouble with three. 11 points, leading all scorers. Playing very well, an 8-0 run now for the Riders. Rebound here for Thomas. Wow. The whistle's blown. Foul called. Two shots to come. Riders in team foul trouble. Substitution checking in. Doe into the game. Shelton to the bench. Glad to see Allen's back on the bench. Had his little lay down. He's uh, regrouped. He's, um, De, uh, Del Pesh, excuse me, misses the first. There's the, the foul count for the Riders at the moment. Del Pesh misses both of those. Washington. McKenzie. To the left hand, Josh Ward Hibbert with the boards. Running forward now, McGill's got room. Tries to use a little finesse, a little bit of spin on the glass, no good. Myron Thomas keeps it in play. Riders attack now. Kimmel McKenzie skips past Del Pesh, kicks to the corner. TJ Law, catch and shoot three, no good. Rebound for Myron Thomas to the left hand. Yes, Thomas has he screams and he deserves it. He's putting in a shift. Whitfield. Quick answer. Much needed, triple two. Yeah, quick answer. Thomas, though, working hard, but then Newcastle come back and answer. And McKenzie will take the last shot. Hold the ball. Ten seconds on the clock. McKenzie. Rising high to the right hand, and the buzzer will sound at the end of the half. The Leicester Riders in the lead, 49 to 35 against the Newcastle Eagles. Coach Rob Paternostro clapping it up for his team in red today. And coming up after the break, we've got all the analysis for you.
Welcome back. British Basketball League Championship action between the Leicester Riders and the Newcastle Eagles, where the score at this moment in time is in favour of the Leicester Riders. It's a great game at the moment, Azania. Yeah, I think it's all Leicester Riders. They're doing a fantastic job on the defensive end, really packing the paint and making it difficult for Newcastle to score. Well, let's take a look at some stats then to see what the difference is between these two teams. Well, I think the thing that jumps out to me is uh, the two-point uh, percentage for Newcastle, 11 of 38. They've had 10 more shots than Leicester Riders, but what they're not doing is executing, not putting the ball in the basket, kind of being a sloppy around the rim. Well, they've had offensive boards by abundance. In fact, more offensive boards than defensive rebounds, but can't get those second chance opportunities to fall. Yeah, and I think if they want to really chip back into this game, that's where they're going to have to concentrate. They're going to have to try and get some easy, quick uh, transition buckets, but they've got to concentrate. The eyes have got to go up. They've got to lock in and score. Well, let's take a look at the tail of the half then, because Leicester Riders have been leading essentially from the off. Taj Green getting in on the action early, but Myron Thomas, he's got into this game and with 13 points personals, he? I think he's been incredible. He's played with lovely energy. He's definitely uh, been locked in. Allen uh, with a little bit of foul trouble also. He's got three fouls, so he's going to have to be careful coming into that third quarter. But for me, I love what they're getting from Lowell as well. They're getting production from the whole team. And, and I think Rob will be really happy with this. When his team is playing as one cohesive unit, they look good. Well, leading all Newcastle scorers is Malcolm Del Pesce. He's got nine points, five rebounds in this one, really battling underneath the boards. Yeah, he's been solid. You know, he's had that strong block also against Thomas, so he's doing his job on the defensive end, and there's one of his uh, shots. But this is where I think they can really execute and be better, is drive, dr draw the defense of Leicester Riders, and then a nice little pocket pass. There was the big jam from Thomas and the that big the stop block. from Del Pesh. That's going to be on the top 10. That was huge. That might be my favorite play of the weekend. Uh, but for me, I think, you know, it's not like they're not playing hard, Newcastle. I just think it's the execution around the rim. If I'm going in at halftime, boys, let's calm down. Let's, get, let's keep the same energy. Um, but they've got to do something because right now, Leicester Riders are, are playing very well. Well, Leicester Riders in the lead, going into the half-time break. What do you think they need to do to change it around, Z? Um, Newcastle, I think uh, try and get some easy points in transition. You've got to slow down, Thomas. Um, but for me, I think uh, Riders are playing very well team basketball. There's multiple movements, so it's hard to defend. They've got their hands full. Well, they have been playing well of late, the Leicester Riders. We're going to see the highlights from Sheffield taking on the Leicester Riders. But before that, we'll see Newcastle's clash against the Caledonia Gladiators. Damn, Todd Green throwing it in the lane. You see another three from Caledonia. Baldwin sets the screen. Bothwell in and out, driving onto the left. Really patient offense. Great job by Michael Bothwell. That's a beautiful oh. pass from Oscar Baldwin. <laughs> Exceptional to a triple as well from Fraser Malcolm. Inside though, Del Pesh coming off the bench, stopping it in the rims with two hands. Here is Mike Bothwell, one on one with McGill. But Bothwell right on time. Tough shot. Josh Ward Hibbert steaming ahead again onto the left hand. Another two points for him. The Gladiators now, they're not scoring it quite the same rate as they were. As Del Pesh cocks one back and stops it with his right hand this time. Geez, you see a bigger guard now on Quade Green. Don't oh. matter. <laughs> go go right on. to the cup. As Ricky McGill gets in the paint and does what he does, a nice touch off the glass. Quade Green, he's going to win that one. <laughs> There's a three-pointer we talked about. Yeah, they've not had one this game yet. The Newcastle Eagles, that's the first one. Newcastle still yet to lead in this game. But for the past two quarters, they've been right on the heels. Clifton Moore <laughs> Jr. taking his frustration out on the rims. Yeah, and I think he was frustrated because he was open three different times on that possession. And as Johnson fires up the three, and there it is, finally breaking the deadlock. 
Clifton Moore with his long reach, and now Mike Bothwell reading the defense and does well. Green uses the screen. What a move that is by Green. He lets it fly at the rim. Quade Green, defender in the blender to the right hand for two. Ram screen there for Clifton Moore with the smaller Jordan Johnson. Quade, Quade Green oh. set it. Jordan Johnson is going to deliver on time. Clock winds down. Jordan Johnson from halfway, but that will be the end of the game. 84 to 90, the final score. Pocket pick there by Deverell Ramsey. He'll take it the distance. A nice finger roll 101 to get the first bucket of the game. Teddy Allen already with one bucket, make it another using the glass. That is silky smooth. Teddy Bucket bound the other end. <laughs> he just makes it look so easy, doesn't he? Back come the Sharks. Beautiful drive there. And there you go. Malik Green starting to warm up. Teddy Allen up and looking. He'll score as soon as he crosses the line, and that might be the craziest shot we've seen all night. Just takes off, floats towards the rim. Oh, what a fake. What a fake by Green. Ball knocked away nicely by Ny Myron Thomas. The big man goes behind his back and off the glass. Wow, DIY, do it yourself. <laughs> <laughs> that ball picked off in midair by Pipkins. They've got numbers three on one. Leave it for the big man. And a throw down by Malik Green. Ramsey will come over and pick his pocket for the second time. If the Sharks can tie it or even get a one point lead, they're going to momentum wise open this thing wide up. That is a tough, tough Larry Bird circus shot. Guarded closely by Kimmel McKenzie. Look how quick he is. Del Pesh comes in. Nice post entry pass. Oh, my goodness! Bennett Cook! Wow! And the leave for Blake Bowman. Oh, Ramsey was trying to get the alley-oop to Bennett Cook. It ends up in the hands of Pipkins. And man down. Oh, oh goodness, yeah. man. Bad decision as well from Duke Shelton. Duke Shelton with the unsportsmanlike foul. And Coach Rob Panocha says, why? Gets it into Cook. Cook gives it back to Ramsey. Good look at a three. Gets it to go. Ramsey inbounds it. Adel Rock can't get the shot to fall, but the Leicester Riders hang on and they get the victory. 88-85. What a game.
Welcome British Basketball League fans, 49 to 35, the Leicester Riders lead the Newcastle Eagles. My name's Tahi Hadja alongside Azania Stewart for this one. And we're looking forward to see if the Newcastle Eagles can bounce back, Azania. Yeah, they're going to have to figure it out. You know, uh, letting Leicester Riders score 24 points and then 25 points in the second quarter. Way too much uh, offense. So they've got to figure a way how to slow that down. Well, they do, in fact, need to figure out a way, but they need to figure out a way also how to stop Myron Thomas. Uh, we'll see his highlights shortly, but there's the standings as it is at this moment in time. Riders sitting pretty in fourth position with an 18 and 15 record. Should they win today, they'll only have three more games to play in the British Basketball League Championship. Well, here is that guy, Myron Thomas Azania. Yeah, 13 points and five rebounds. He's done so well finishing at the rim with authority, rocking it with this one. And uh, just been a real positive spark for Leicester Riders. And uh, for me, I just think I've really enjoyed his play. He, he shouted at this one, flexed and he screamed, but he, he's on a mission. Man on a mission, Myron Thomas, ready to get the second half on the way. Well, Leicester Riders, the starting five, seem to be all getting done. They've only got five points off the bench, four from Bowman, one from Idowu. The rest, all coming from Mackenzie Thomas, Allen, Lal, and Shelton. And Newcastle Eagles will get the second half underway with Larry Austin Jr. I think this third quarter is going to be important for Newcastle. We'll really be telling coming out of uh, halftime. They can get a good start here, get some momentum and some confidence and start to chip away at this lead. Well, here we go. Welcome to our viewers, wherever you're watching all around the world, live on the British Basketball League YouTube channel and TikTok and on Twitch and also on Fubo. Here is Larry Austin Jr. Ricky McGill rising up. Interchange with the foe as he comes up and sets the screen. The foe gets a good roll, but Lars gets back in front of him. Here's Jordan Johnson, shot clock winding down, beats the buzzer with the lay at the rim. Perfect timing. That's exactly what you want. That's what I spoke about. Get a bucket, feel good, and get a stop here on the other end. Here is. Mackenzie handing it off inside, Duke Shelton. Mackenzie, well and truly dishing out the dimes, he's got six assists. Yeah, too easy for me, because Mackenzie could have gone up himself and was kind enough, handed off. McGill finds room for the mid-range, TJ Law looking for a foul on the screen action. Newcastle getting two back-to-back -back scores, but now can they get a defensive stop? They can't just trade baskets. TJ Law ensures they don't get the stop. Lays it in to go to double digits. 11 points, four rebounds for Law. Nice, that's nice. McGill can't get his shot to go. Austin Jr. offensive boards and the bucket. Really good job by Austin Jr. using his body to create that space. Well, the offensive board and the finish is not what we saw much of from the Eagles as Myron Thomas spins off Taj Green for the jam. Playing with great confidence. One on one, easy money. Johnson misses that one. A quick shot from the Newcastle Eagles. Looks at the pump fake, then goes back sure. to his original shot. Probably should have passed it. Not a foul, bro. Stop it. It's an air ball. Hit nothing but Lester Air. Run down the other end. Lester. I see what you did there, Zane. McGill. Screen comes from DeVoe again. He holds that roll and Jordan Johnson moves it. Looked like a good opportunity to score the ball from three, but McGill's going to take the next chance from the elbow. A bit of a slow start to this game, McGill, but now he's out to nine points. McKenzie, right hand, no good. Larry Austin Jr. pushing forward again. McGill hands it off. Green! Punching one and landing on Thomas accidentally. That's nice. Well, they're all friends Sports now, aren't they? Oh, just sportsmanship. <laughs> it is, at the end of the day, a dangerous play. He did kick him, maybe. Oh, just fall on him. Tries to take the charge and then...
Taj Green just lands on him, maybe on his hip as well. But everyone is up, and it's a 10-point game. McKenzie. Good defense. Oh, then spilt it. Austin Jr. No foul call. Tries to find Green. Probably should have found him the first time. Mm -hmm. But much better job from Newcastle. This is where they're great when they can get an easy stop and then it ignites their offense, get out in transition. That's when they look the best. Kim and McKenzie called for his first personal foul of the game. And line ball. Green fires up a triple and it's good for Taj Green. Here come the Eagles. Lovely out of bounds play. That's one thing Mark Schrute has in his pocket is out of bounds plays. Allen between the legs. Foul is called here. Austin Jr. a little too close for comfort. He's not going to back down though, is he? He's really going to take that challenge, slowing down Allen. And he's not going to pull off the, um, the heat or the strength. He's going to be right up under him again. Ball into play, stolen away. Jordan Johnson go into the bucket. It's a brilliant finish from Jordan Johnson. Forces the timeout. 9 and 0 run for the Newcastle Eagles as they close this game to five points after trailing at half time. 49 to 35. Good still. Broke that pass. And he's asking for a foul. And Taj Queen comes and gets him. And just walks him down huge i spoke about this third quarter it's going to be important for newcastle they've come in they've focused they've cut it down with five nine oh run forces rob paternostro to call a timeout huge start from newcastle weekends rob paternostro looking dead in the camera there just checking to see if we were watching Zania. so i was trying to lift the timeout and see what rob Draws up, or I can see him is killing that gum. You know, he loves a chewing gum. I played with chewing gum. You did? Yeah, I liked it. It made me breathe. The cameraman, let's get me onto that, that board. Um, yeah, I liked it. It kind of kept my concentration off, like that I'm dying. <laughs> you know, I was out of breath. Um, yeah, I liked it. Just a side note to all junior viewers, that is a health and safety issue. Please do not. don't do that. Yeah. yeah I, 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 one time I did choke on it. Oh, yeah. Shit. I went up for a, no, uh, an offensive rebound and it went... Oh, yeah, that is health and safety. But anyway, one in 20 years, that's not bad. Yeah. One, one in 20. <laughs> one in 20. Well, here we go. It's important here, the answer. Let's see. You can see the energy from Newcastle now. Look, everyone's moving, everyone's everywhere. Shelton just about keeps the offense alive for the ride. He's got to go on his own here. And a foul wow. is called on Defoe. He's not happy about that call because he's in foul trouble. That's his fourth personal foul. The captain. Wait, they called a different. Substitution coming in. Del Pesh replaces Defoe. Got to. More of a trip, wasn't it? And Malcolm Delpesh steps onto the court, and it's not necessarily a bad thing. The foe is. It's been playing well. Zero points, Del Yeah, and Delpesh has nine points, five boards, and a foul called here. And it recalled the Jordan Johnson. And that is. His second personal foul. And line possession for McKenzie. Allen inside. Finishes for two. Big. Just kind of muscles his ways. Much taller than Austin. Finishes over him. And Leicester stop the bleeding. McGill firing up a triple low. Myron Thomas rising up, picking that one off. McKenzie driving along the baseline to the reverse. Pretty. Time for Kimball to take over. Pretty baseline drive. I like that, McKenzie. Harry Austin Jr. changing direction. He finishes with the left. 
Anyone going to play some defense around here? Or it's just going to be It's an all-star game. Yeah. It's all, it's all <laughs> what's happening. All-star game indeed. Mackenzie loses the handle. Newcastle get it back. The bench up on their feet, clapping that one. Uh, Stuart will cause the three-up offense. Pesh pops out, Green sets the, the down pick. McGill rises up to get the handoff from Del Pesh. There's nice hands there from Shelton. McGill working his way to the bucket. Ricky McGill. Huge, massive finish with defense flying at him. Gets it high off the glass. Well, he's also found double digits for the Eagles now. McGill, 11 points for him. Thomas trying to add to his points tally. Doesn't do it on that occasion. Austin Jr. full speed ahead to the right hand again. Austin Jr. cutting through the defense like a hot knife through butter. Yes, indeed. And that's where he makes his money also. That transition offense, so strong, so fast. Three point ball game now. Travel. A travel violation call, a turnover for the Riders, and we're going to have a quick break. The Riders led by as many as 17, but it's a three-point game. We'll be back after this. Jordan Johnson, 12 points personal, leading all scorers now. Three players in double digits for the Newcastle Eagles as they lead in this quarter, 21 to 10. Incredible third quarter for Newcastle. Those first few minutes were crucial. Let's see if Newcastle can close the gap even more. Taj Green gives it a little. Opportunity to dunk, but slips away, and the bucket is good nonetheless. One point's the difference. Larry Austin Jr. almost picking another one away. He's already got three steals in this game. I love the energy from Austin Jr. not backing down. He loves these opportunities, especially on the defensive end. Obviously, on the offense, can get it going, but why not take on the challenge to slow down Teddy Allen? McKenzie. Allen hands it off to Dowu, who's kind of caught up there. Chance for Newcastle to take the lead. Jordan Johnson misses the triple. Lal. Allen behind the back, inside, blocked away. Delpesh protecting the rim. Pesh, that extra layer of defense. 
And a rejection on the other side of the flow. Adowu steps on the line, though, as he tries to keep it in play. And he's asking, this is the block from Del Pesh. Good job. Multiple bodies flying at Allen. And then down on the other end, that's a foul, in my opinion. I'm sorry, McKenzie's going up and up. I get that, up and down. But if you look at his left off arm, is hanging on uh, McGill's other hand. So he's got away with that. Oh, well, Teddy Allen's gone to the bench here. And also, let me just speak. We get an extra look at the replay and the angle's a bit different from a referee, so I'll let him off. Well, there was a technical foul called. And I'm guessing it was called on Teddy Allen. He's still chirping, so he just needs to manage himself. He, he kind of gets upset on the offensive end when he doesn't get his score, he doesn't get a foul, and it kind of winds him up, and, and now he has to sit with four fouls. Yeah, cannot put points on the board whilst he's on the bench, so no good for the riders as Johnson knocks down the triple and Newcastle have the lead. I told you about Mark Studel's out of bounds plays, the perfection at his finest. Well executed, wide open. Johnson three point at the top. Mackenzie, Thomas off the dribble, and a foul called. Foul called here on Johnson. That will be his third personal foul. Let's have a look here. This is the wide open. Well, Idowu goes to the free throw line to shoot two. And I think the referees are just checking here. I think they've sent him to the line in the belief that Leicester are in team foul <laughs> trouble. Be a meme. <laughs> and now it will be an end line possession because it isn't team foul trouble. That was the fourth foul of the quarter. Oh, sorry. Yes, for the, of the quarter for the Newcastle Eagles. As Adowu skips it to the corner. Blake Bowman back out. Adowu for three. Yeah. He's been quiet. Good execution. Nailed that one. Miscommunication on the defensive end by Newcastle. Leaves a doe wide open. I told you he can stroke it from the three. Johnson gets it up top to McGill. The screen is coming now from Del Pesh. In the corners, Larry Austin Jr. The rebound for Myron Thomas. Thomas off the dribble, that's deflected off Jordan Johnson, end line possession for the Riders. Let's take a look at Edoru's triple there. Stretches the floor. Yeah, he does, and, and shoots it well. There's Myron Thomas on the elbow, drops the shoulder, the ball fake, trying to find room and draws the contact from Taj Green. Now it is team foul trouble for the Newcastle Eagles, but that was a foul in the act of shooting. Green's third personal foul. I like this battle. I spoke about it at the first half. These two going at it. Good patience down there by Thomas. Comes back in and just hooks under Green. And I, I, you know what? I must commend Green because I think at the beginning of the season, that would have really triggered him and, and maybe talk back and catch a couple of technical fouls. But hello, sweetheart. Sending kisses, we thank you. Um, uh, Green, yeah, has really had to, you know, he's he's really grown in this season. I have to agree with you, yeah. Without a doubt, his maturity. Yeah, and even helping his teammates. You know, you've seen him go cuddle his teammates and walk them away down the down the court. Thomas goes two for two to put Leicester back on top. Crowd is getting loud here at the Mattioli. 
Can McGill keep them silenced? Mm, almost. Josh Ward here at will. Needed. Fuck it. McKenzie. Nice pass there from McKenzie. Bowman Gosh. smokes the layup. Bowman, sweetheart, that was perfectly drawn up by McKenzie. Oh, disappointing. Jordan Johnson floating it high into the right hand. Del Pesh can't get up there to slam it home. Myron Thomas, 3v3 in transition here. Stolen away by McGill. And TJ Lowell fouls him just before half court. Good defense to stop Thomas. This no. game has got very juicy. Sideline possession. Ford Hibbert will inbound. Here's Johnson. Horn's action here from Newcastle. McGill, Del Pesce is trying to find a seal here. He gets the ball eventually in the post. Quick turn. Right-handed hook going away from the bucket, so it falls a little short. Josh Ward-Hibbert keeping the play moving. Whitfield. Johnson had a look at it from deep. Kicks it back out. Whitfield wide open for three. Bounces around. McKenzie has it. Lal continues the offense. Kicks it out. Myra Thomas faking. Unable to make it. And it stays with the Riders on the baseline. Intense possession. Our bodies flying. I must admit, both teams doing a really good job of trying to get that extra possession, crashing the boards. McKenzie misses the mid range. Austin Jr. The crossover, right hand is good. Austin Jr. for two. Gosh, he's so good at that. He just puts his head down, bullies his way through. That's another Newcastle Eagle in double digits. This time, Larry Austin Jr. Three rebounds away from a double-double. McKenzie, Idowu for three, and he knocks it down again. Sam Idowu to give Leicester the lead. The clock is winding down. Can Newcastle get something off quickly? Ricky McGill will fire it up, and that one, a foul is called. The ball comes off the front of the iron. Idowu saying he did not touch him, but three free throws to come now for Ricky McGill. What a wild finish. Got to stay disciplined all the way down to the end. He's upset, but I guarantee you there was some sort of contact here. Maybe just took his landing space. Very, very minimal. But they were not best pleased. The crowd can dissuade McGill from scoring. But he has the chance now to put Newcastle into the lead. At the end of this third quarter. Strings the first. Twelve point seven assists from Ricky McGill. He's three dimes away from a double-double himself. This is the second. We stay even. One more free throw to take the lead. She's stressed, isn't she? <laughs> the Newcastle Eagle fans have made the trip. And he makes the second. There is that lead. Ball goes in. And that is the end of the third quarter. Newcastle by one. Wonderful display from them. 33 to 18 quarter for the Newcastle Eagles gets them on top. More coming up after the break.
Tony Allen on the bench with four personal fouls. And Rob Padonostra and the Riders find themselves in yet another close encounter. Oh, that was a fantastic offensive quarter for Newcastle. 33 points they scored in that quarter. And Leicester only scored 18. Here is TJ Law, Larry Austin Jr. has been fantastic defensively so far in this game. Putting the pressure on Myron Thomas, comes up with the offensive balls. Riders reset here. Calling for the ball screen is Kimball McKenzie. Del Pesha switched onto him, and a foul is called. Yes, a shame, especially when there was two seconds left. The shot clock's going to get re- uh, added to 14 and they had only two seconds to defend Newcastle so they're giving Riders another possession Whitfield was called for that foul holding foul is over Thomas trying to look inside for TJ Law somehow does keep it alive Law gets it up foul call and another foul call on Whitfield in quick succession Now TJ Law goes to the free throw line. There's the foul trouble. Defoe with four. Also Johnson and Taj Green are on the bench with three. Law well, makes the first to bring it back. Bring the game back for even Stevens. Oh, misses the second. Austin Jr. McGill. Whitfield. Ward Hibbert, left handed. Del Pesh. Yeah, huge rebound, Azania. And the foul is called there, TJ Lowell just gets his fingertips to it. Fantastic read by Lowell, read exactly where that pass was going and just runs through it. And the referees will discuss whether this is an unsportsmanlike foul here. Well, I think so because um, in this case it's stopping him from advancing to score. So kind of held him back, didn't make a play. I don't know if we have... Would it be the last defender as well, Zaya? Yeah, and it, it has is, been called yeah. as the unsportsmanlike like foul. Here it is, thank you. Look at that, Lowell runs through it. Uh, he's not the last defender, but he hasn't gone for the ball. He's pushed Lowell in the hip here, Ricky McGill. Very slight, but Leicester won't be complaining. where Lowell found that hitch from like where do you learn that look how kind of unorthodox he throws the head back it works as long as the ball goes in I don't care but it's funny like where did you learn to, to shoot like that I think it's, it might be the length of his arms if I'm honest with what you what about that, his head his head rocks all the way back yeah, I can't you know what I'm not even going to get involved. <laughs> yeah, fair. As long as it goes in, who cares, right? Uh, yeah, Which he is won't interesting. Mind. Like, you watch anyone, nobody shoots like that. Yeah. Oh, I don't who gets it back. Finger roll. Nice give and go. Yeah, pretty play between those two. Timeout. And a timeout call now. As Leicester. Going back into a four point lead in this one. Newcastle. Want to talk it up. Well, here it is. It's that timeout. Now, what, what do you think Mark Stewart's saying to his team here? He's called a relatively early timeout. Well, I think uh, they had a fantastic third quarter, right? And I think they need to just withstand that. Um, but Riders have done a really good job just kind of weathering the storm. There was a 17-point lead that they've given up and had to figure out. Um, but for me, 
It's still a long game. It's eight minutes 40. I, I knew this one was going to be spicy. I was a little bit wor worried when Riders just broke open that lead. But Newcastle with that 33-point third quarter um, outscored uh, Leicester by 15. And that was huge. But the game's not over. And you're on the road, Newcastle. So I think drawing up a good play. What's been really good for them here is... Uh, transition and then Austin Jr. and McGill getting to the basket, crashing to the basket. They're unstoppable like that. Austin Jr. also been big on the yeah. steals. I believe he's still got three steals to his name. In, and Allen's in this game. still on the bench. That would help them as well. Yeah, without a doubt. <laughs> yeah. You know, however, Teddy Allen in this game has only uh, got 12 points personal. Well, there's Mr. Dan Routledge. He texted me earlier. He was absolutely fuming that he said he's only bought two beers all year and he gets busted on the cameras drinking his, his <laughs> beer. Look, he's still, it's still the same beer. Is he nursing it? Is he's that, he's is that the official term? It's all right. We'll let you off, Dan. And anyway, it's Sunday. It's your day off, darling. Enjoy. Well, here is Ricky McGill now. Response required from Newcastle as McGill lets that go out of bounds. Sideline. Johnson throws it up for three an orthodox shot from Johnson behind the arc Del Pesh floating one up and a rebound again for the Riders the 29th defensive rebound of the game nice crossover there for McKenzie once again Del Pesh has switched onto him tries to Make advantage of that mismatch and go by him. The defense is there on help Got from the numbers. Eagles. Yeah, and McGill now. And Bowman comes up with the boards. He's looking forward. He finds McKenzie throwing it up to Thomas. Ali, you play all the way. Lovely. Put it on a plate. Josh Ward Hibbert dribbles that one out of bounds. Thomas claps it up. Wonderful. Look at this, McKenzie. You want a point guard like that? Passes it perfectly for Thomas. He's played fantastic, hasn't he? He's just withstand Newcastle's run, but it's his energy, his effort, and it's well deserved with that slam dunk. And double, a double, 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 yes, for Myron Thomas. 17 points, 10 rebounds. Apology, it's 19 points after that bucket. Lol. Good Austin team. Jr. tries to take the ball away from him. And the referees once again. <laughs> well, Mark is saying, well, what's the difference between the other play where you called? And the players are all in the middle. Usually yeah. you can see the players drift to the side on which they think the call is going to go, but they've all ended up in the middle of the court here. Yep. And then sports were like foul for the number eight, CJ Law. You have to. Great point. Coach Stewart has said, hey, if you're going to call it the other way, it's the right call, in my opinion. Well, I'm not sure I quite caught, caught what the, where the foul was there, if I'm honest with you. Oh, it, oh. Larry Austin Jr. <laughs> airballing the free throw, much to the crowd's oh delight. Oh, my gosh. Sorry. Austin Jr., where are you, sweetheart? Um, and makes the second. Gosh. Um, they stopped the... He was the, the projection of the ball, of him moving forward, sorry. Oh, okay. um, after, after being blocked, you yeah, 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 yeah. Gosh, S sorry, the air ball lost my words. <laughs> Hopefully he can bounce back, he scores the second. Del Pesh, his shot's off now. Not as prolific, but Larry Austin Jr. is prolific. There's a fourth steal and a big block from TJ Law. This game's got it all. McKenzie pushing forward, off to the races. Idolu laying it in for two in transition. Gosh, you can see it's spicy in Leicester. <laughs> Ricky foul. McGill, and the foul is called. He almost had the chance at the and one play here. Myron Thomas puts his hands I up. I love this. Lowe doesn't give up, slaps the ball, and then they go down the other end. And McKenzie hands off another dime. 
this definitely has a playoff feel to it, doesn't it? These two teams could find themselves seeing each other in the playoffs. And I love it. I really have enjoyed the energy, the intensity, the effort. We've seen bodies flying. We've seen dunks. We've seen block shots. In the playoffs, it will be a marvelous matchup yeah. for all fans to enjoy. Well, Kimball McKenzie has himself uh, 11 assists, I believe, in this game. Foul count still strong for both teams at this moment. And he's still got Teddy on the on the bench, so Teddy does have four fouls. Teddy Allen behind Coach Rob. So I wonder how long he leaves him there. Well, here comes McKenzie. Screen from Adowu. Myron Thomas comes off a second screen from Adowu, gets it inside the paint. Kick to the corner, TJ Lal is waiting. A wide open for the triple, TJ Lal, 17 points. Yep, right there on that baseline, loves that shot. And Taj Green with the immediate response. Gosh, we're going back to back. Here comes McKenzie again. He could drive that left-hand side, McKenzie. They're leaving him wide open. Myra Thomas, step back. And it will stay now with the Newcastle Eagles. As they trail by six. Here's that pass to the corner. Courtside view there for you and Taj Green. Making it count. Johnson trying to get inside, and that's great hands from Blake Bowman to knock it away. End line ball now for the Eagles. 13 seconds on the shot clock. Bowman takes a break. Teddy Allen has now checked back in the game. Last five minutes, 57. He's got four fouls, so... Oh, and the foul has been called here. I'm guessing it'll be called on TJ Lal. Is called on Lal. I was actually thinking Teddy's getting a bit too involved in that play there, yeah. Yeah, considering his foul trouble. <laughs> He's in foul trouble. You've just subbed in. Look, right here. Both took a swing. Mm -hmm. And Larry Austin Jr. missing another free throw. This season, Larry Austin Jr. 65% from the free throw line. Makes the second. Another Washington into the game. As Lal takes a break. Point game. Allen off the dribble. Straight away, trying to put the ball in the bucket. No avail this time, Larry Austin Jr. kicks it. Taj Green gets another look for three, and it's another triple for Taj Green. He's coming up big for the Newcastle Eagles. Huge. Yeah, back-to-back -back threes from him. 7-0 run for Newcastle. He is three for three from downtown. Allen hands it off to Dowu. And Taj Green comes up with the rebound. Seventh board of the game for Green. McGill. Now Johnson going downhill, sneaks it in for two, and it's a tight ball game again. Gosh, that was beautiful from Johnson. That leaning layup so Teddy couldn't block the shot. And remember, he is on four fouls, so if, I, if that's the case, Johnson, good idea. Keep attacking Teddy. Here is Jordan Johnson. Green pulling up for another triple, and that's four for four. Todd Green is on fire from behind the arc. And now the Newcastle Eagles lead by three. We've got a timeout coming up, but don't go anywhere. This game is turning up.
this game is on a knife's edge. And Taj Green is taking it into his own hands. Four for four from downtown, 22 points. Yeah, and he says, boom, he's feeling it. And that was definitely a heat check. He had a wide open um, Del Pesh under. But you know, when you are playing so well, the hoop just starts to open up. Oh, Mackenzie, he misses the layup there. McGill pushing forward. Green looks to the corner. Great decision from Green. Jordan Johnson has all the time in the world and capitalizes on it. Absolutely. Had so much time. Had a, a reset dribble to get his feet. Now Teddy Allen, one-on-one -on -one with Ricky McGill, and that's a foul. He just swiped at it. And um, Ricky McGill will have his third personal foul in this game. Look at that to hear 15 0 run. Last two minutes, 21 seconds. Here it is. Look how long he had. No, not one defender decides to run out to him. Wide open, splashes it in. Good job, Johnson. In line, McKenzie. The bounce pass to find Myron Thomas who gets himself to 21 points. Perfectly executed. I don't know why, it makes me really happy out of bounds plays. They just, <laughs> it's so simple, but it really makes me happy. Oh, Del Pesh finishes on the right hand for two. Too easy. That's the right is. Too easy. McKenzie for three. McKenzie's good for the triple. Everyone is just heating up at the right moment. Captain Kimball makes a desperately required triple for the Riders. Now Taj Green backing down to the basket. The right-handed hook gives him the two small to Teddy Allen. <laughs> Gosh, Green is playing out of his mind. Offensive off. charge. Yeah, yeah. TJ Lal dropping the shoulder. Down goes Del Pesh. Newcastle ball. And that is the fifth and final foul for TJ Lal. He will now leave this game, finishing up on 17.6 rebounds for the Leicester Riders. That's a big... It's frustrated. Last three minutes here, Riders are going to have to play without TJ Lal. Well, then comes Blake Bowman. McGill, the crossover, the foul is called here. Team foul trouble for the Riders now. McGill will go to the line to shoot two. And remember, if Newcastle wins this game to him, they bunny hop over into fourth place. So huge, a lot to play for. In terms of the table, there's Mark Strudel. He's, they stressed him out today, haven't they, really? We saw him at the beginning of the game pacing. But that third quarter really got them going. He's a fantastic coach, fantastic guy. McGill. This is the first free throw. Oh, oh, and Defoe's been on the bench, mm -hmm. you know, since having four personal fouls. Well, Del Pesh has played fantastic in greens and in his bag, so you don't really need to go to him. Give the big fella some rest. Here is Mackenzie. Idowu off the dribble, step back three for Idowu, rolls off the rim, rebounded by Green. Wow. <laughs> that was halfway in. Johnson finds Taj Green again. Goes all the way, Taj Green, unstoppable, 26 points. Doing it all by himself, down low, shooting the threes in his bag. Myron Thomas looking for a response, no good. Larry Austin Jr. pushing the floor again, 3v3, Austin Jr. Offensive foul is called, Kimball McKenzie gets his body there right on time. Wow, that was great defense from McKenzie, running full speed back. Gets his body in the way, takes the hit. He knew exactly what McGill wanted, uh, excuse me, Austin Jr. wanted, didn't he? 
And that's his third personal foul. Larry Austin Jr., Blake Bowman goes to the bench. Connor Washington into the game. Push Kimball McKenzie to the two spot. He's in the corner there, McKenzie, as you can see. Washington cutting through the paint. Teddy Allen just trying to get open. Larry Austin Jr. denying him that opportunity. And it's a turnover here again for the Riders. Johnson, Eagles want to slow things down here. They lead by eight. They want to use the game clock. Got a mismatch here against McKenzie and Green. Got to the rim. Teddy Allen to the bucket now. Teddy has fouled. Two shots to come. I believe that foul is called on Jordan Johnson, which will be his fourth, fourth. personal foul. Allen needs these free throws. 1.29 on the clock. Riders need a run. If anybody can get hot quickly. Teddy Allen's that guy. Two for two. Important now for the Riders to get a stop. Important for the Newcastle Eagles to manage this possession well, get some time off the clock, and get a bucket. You see what they go with here. Really taking their time, using the shot clock. Well, they want to go one-on-one -on -one here with Ricky McGill and Teddy Allen. It's tipped away into the hands of Myron Thomas. He's pushing forward. Jordan Johnson sweeps across, steals it away. All alone, Larry Austin Jr. for the two. Gosh, what perfect timing to steal that ball. Wow, huge, we're down to under a minute. Washington, big three for the Riders. Closes the gap to five, 50 seconds. He's found Jordan Johnson. They're taking their time, 10 seconds on the shot clock. McGill wants the space to go one-on-one -on -one with Allen again. McGill. Driving, right hand, rolls off the rim, tipped into the hands of Teddy Allen. A foul is called now on Ricky McGill, and it'll be two shots for the Leicester Riders. Allen back on the line to close this game to a three-point difference. Don't go anywhere if you're watching this live on TikTok, Twitch, or the British Basketball League YouTube channel, and in North America with Fubo. What an incredible last couple of minutes here. Back and forth. Allen walks down the other end, and... Or shoot two. Free throws wins games. And there's the first of two. Do riders foul here to stop the clock or do they allow a full possession? Well, that's what Rob is talking about with his assistant, Pablo. What do you do, Z? I hate the foul. I don't know. Just different coaching styles, you know. I, I like to win the game, but, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a technique that's done, and let's see what they do. Well, they're not opting to foul quickly. They're opting to see if they can get a stop here, the Riders. Well, let's see how we get on. Here's Jordan Johnson slowing down the offense. Myron Thomas comes to double team here. Put the pressure on Jordan Johnson. They get the ball to Green. They've got to find the open man. Ricky McGill goes up. The foul is called on the floor. Ricky McGill wants the basket. He will go to the line to shoot two shots, but the foul is called on Sammy Ledowu. Blocking foul, two shots. Ricky McGill to the line. Well, they had to foul deeper into the shot clock. Yeah, but just let it go. Let's have a look. Here he is. Ledowu comes across. And he's just about on the floor there, I think. Just ever so slightly yeah. before the gather. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, he's got two free throws, so like you said, free throws wins games. This could potentially ice it and make both. There's one. Riders are going to probably call a timeout here, advance the ball, and get themselves a three-point opportunity if they can to get even closer, commit the foul, send Newcastle to the line again, and becomes a game of chess at this point. McGill makes the second. There's the timeout. Coach Rob's going to draw something up. Makes it a five-point game, a two-possession game, and it's, it's done, it's doable. 
The Eagles fans in fine voice singing at the top of their lungs. Can Newcastle do this? Well, this, when I look back at this, uh, my, all my stats and my notes, it's the 17-point lead that they let go, that they didn't withstand. Newcastle came out in that third quarter, was incredible, built the momentum, built the confidence, and they just kept riding on that. And, you know, uh, Leicester have done well, but for me, this is a, a game of two halves for sure because Newcastle were incredible in this second half. Well, we also want to know about the player of the game. Let us know your oh, thoughts gosh. in the comment sections, TikTok, Twitter, and the British Basketball League YouTube channel. There's definitely some great candidates. 16 points, 10 assists for Ricky McGill. There's 21 points and 13 rebounds for Myron Thomas. Wow. Nine points, 12 assists for Kimball McKenzie. 26 points for Taj Green with eight rebounds. It's some big stat lines for you to consider. Larry Austin Jr. is also one rebound off a double-double. He's got 14 points, nine boards, four assists, and five steals. Well, here we go. Rob Padanostro has to draw something special up here. They're all lining him up on the far side for a staggered screen action. Who's going to get it? Well, they try the loft, look at the lofted, but Idowu pops out for the triple, is front of the rim. Myron Thomas, he's got to let it go. He's blocked Locked. away, kicks it out. Connor Washington for three, and no good. Rebound for Ricky McGill, and Newcastle Eagles take the victory over the Leicester Riders after a phenomenal second half performance. Mark Stutel's men, they have done it. Down go the Riders. What a wonderful finish to this game. Huge. That was a fantastic game to be a part of. 16 unanswered points. Leicester Riders couldn't get it going. Just saw the lead melt away through their hands. At home, there goes the Newcastle Eagles. Fans have made the trip. Well-deserved win for them. Taj Green, Jordan Johnson, Two of the candidates for the players of the game, their two highest leading scorers, 21 points, six assists, four rebounds for Great Jordan smile. Johnson and 26, eight rebounds and two assists, two steals and a block for Taj Green. Where are you going to go for your player of the game, Azania? I'm going for the Harry Bow King, Taj Green, 26 points. He went 10 from 17 from the line. He had the eight rebounds and he was four from four from the three-point line. He was dominant. He was confident. He knew exactly what he wanted and potentially actually won this game with those three back-to-back-to-back uh, three-point shots, which was just crucial. Played with heart, played with passion. Congratulations, him. Pivotal performance from Taj Green as the Newcastle Eagles take the win on the road to add victory to the name and hop into fourth position in the British Basketball League standings. A wonderful performance for them in this second half after trailing the Leicester Riders by 17 points overall. The final score of 91 to 96. Let's check out the full-time stats then for you at the end of this one. Well, hopefully the, the shooting percentages are a little bit better. Yes, they are. 42% for the Eagles. They were, you know, struggling at halftime, so they managed to figure that out. The turnovers, 18 turnovers for Leicester Riders, which Newcastle dominated, getting out in transition and scoring on them. And then also the boards pretty much even, but then 11 steals to, uh, for Newcastle, only three for Leicester Riders. Well, it was 17 points from turnovers there we go. Thank for you. the Newcastle Eagles. That would have definitely helped deal the loss to the Leicester Riders in this one. Let's take a look at those fixtures then for you. Over the weekend, there's two more games left. Newcastle Eagles lost earlier on to Caledonia on Thursday. On Friday, Patriots fell to the Cheshire Phoenix. Riders won on the road to the Sharks. Saturday, Scorchers, they, did, they lost against the Caledonia Gladiators and Bristol Flyers. They lost against the Plymouth City Patriots. Riders fall at home against the Newcastle Eagles. Will the Bristol Flyers fall again? They take on the second place Cheshire Phoenix at 6 o'clock live here on the British Basketball League YouTube channel with myself and Azania. And uh, Easter Monday special, the Manchester Giants take on the Sheffield Sharks at 6 o'clock.
Well, let's take a look at the standings. Up goes the Newcastle Eagles into fourth position, but it's still looking likely that we'll see the Newcastle Eagles and the Leicester Riders go head to head in the playoffs, the first round. Well, Azani, your thoughts on that game? The Riders were running away with it in the first half, but back come the Newcastle Eagles. This rivalry continues. Fantastic. Uh, Newcastle, you're right, they even the series 2-2 two, two apiece. Um, I thought the Riders, were, they played very well, but they got Teddy Allen in uh, foul trouble. He had to sit, got him out of rhythm, and then here came the Newcastle Eagles. Wonderful game. I really enjoyed that. That second half was entertaining. Well, another huge game coming up in the British Basketball League Championship at 6 p.m. Don't miss it. We'll be right here. The Cheshire Phoenix at home against the Bristol Flyers. Until then, we'll see you very shortly.